Urban regeneration projects improve areas that have decayed over time. We look for soil regeneration project significance. From duplex houses to house sharing programs. We review how Korea's housing culture is changing. The Pyeongchang Winter Olympics will take place two years from now. We examine how the preparations are ongoing. Open government data and how it's being used. Government 3.0's policy on open data. A new culture has recently emerged in Korea's housing market. From duplex houses to house sharing programs, the latest keyword is living together. Dongtong Passive House in Hwasung, Gyeonggi-do Province. It looks like one building, but it's actually a multi-family house composed of one main house for the building owner and another unit available for rent. Yun Tae Kwan, who designed and built this house, lives here. This building has a private entrance for each household and features different living spaces to reflect the tenant's individuality and demands. The history of Korea's modern housing began after liberation. Japanese-style housing disappeared, and Seoul's first apartment was erected in 1958. This opened the golden age of apartments, and families began to disperse. After that, luxurious villas and residences began to appear in rich neighborhoods. Recently, rural houses have become popular among the middle-class members in their 30s and 40s. 이런 주택이 등장하게 되는 배경에는 그 주택의 본질 그러니까 아, 자기의 마당을 갖고 싶다든지 자연과 교감을 하고 싶다든지 그리고 자기의 개성을 좀 아, 드러내 보이고 싶다든지 하는 그러한 욕구가 아, 필요했기 때문에 그런 경향이 나타나는 것이라고 봅니다. Modern rural houses don't come with the traditional notion of living with a large family. Siblings or building owners with similar lifestyles are building their houses together and changing Korea's housing landscape. From tall, narrow houses built on small plots of land to shared houses and duplex houses, new types of residences are sprouting up. Francis's Ensemble 2 Generations is a collocation program that links young people who need a place to stay with elderly people who have extra rooms. Tenants who eat meals with the elders six times a week do not have to pay rent. Actually, if you ask uh, French people, did you ever experience collocation? 30% uh, will say yes, between the age of 18 25 years old. And uh, so what does it say? To f about, about French people, I think it's a real, it's a cultural fact, and it's very important for you to experience colocation because it teaches you a lot of uh, uh, experience of life of living with someone. An apartment in Guangzhou. Here. 
Student Lim Kyun Hui lives with an elderly woman named Choi Nam Sun. They met through Seoul's home sharing program. By sharing the house, the elders find a companion who can temper their loneliness, and the students can benefit from the family-like care. Hoja is at the end. Amuru de Edri Taga Kaburinika, Domo Hojanogo, Chibi Tumpinga Kateo, Kriso, Haxinger, to get his sale. Kurida Bonica, Haxinga, Kachi, Salgo, Hago, 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 Students can find a room for half the average rent fee, and they can help the elders with various tasks. Sharing, 하고 나서부터는 이모님이 이제 밥을 챙겨 주시니까 어 된장찌개도 먹고 막 그런 찌개를 먹을 수 있고 뭐 맨날 계란 후라이도 먹을 수 있다는 게 진짜 뭔가 소소하게 좀 행복하더라고요. So launched the home sharing project in 2013. So far, 144 elders and 184 students in 11 districts have met each other through this program. 내년에는 저희가 한 150 가구를 추가적으로 더 확대할 계획이고 지금 11개 구에서 저희가 시행을 하고 있는데요. 앞으로는 25개 구청에서 전체로 다 시행할 계획으로 되어 있습니다. Two households live like a family under one roof. Korea's housing culture is changing. Korea's changing housing culture. It is evolving into a community through a network of Jong, Koreans' unique sentiment of love and affection. Urban regeneration projects revive areas that have decayed over time. We look into Seoul's regeneration project, which aims to create a space where the past and the present coexist. Situated between Gyeongbokgung Palace and Changgyeonggung Palace in Seoul, Bukchon Hanok Village is a popular tourist attraction housing over 1,200 families. But it once faced demolition during urban development. Fortunately, the village survived when Seoul implemented the Urban Regeneration Project to protect cultural assets such as the royal palaces and traditional houses. I'm really happy to be here right now because I think it's a magical place. And when I arrived here at first, I just saw all the roofs because there are so many flowers and it's really decorated beautiful. And for example, the walls, they have all different colors and different patterns. And the doors are different too and they are made of wood and this is really special for me. And yeah, I just think this is a really magical place and it makes me feel really comfortable and really welcome here. Book John. Hanok Village is considered as the most successful case of the urban regeneration project. Last year, Seoul passed the 2025 Seoul Regeneration Strategic Plan through the Urban Planning Committee and selected 13 areas to regenerate. Kangbuk became densely populated as Seoul rebuilt and industrialized the facilities that had been destroyed by the Korean War. After the 1980s, Seoul continued to grow through new development projects which included the development of the Seoul Plaza and Cheonggyecheon Stream in the 2000s. Why did Seoul choose urban regeneration over development? Seoul <laughs> 1970년대, 80년대를 거쳐오면서 계속 도시가 팽창해 오고 또 성장을 해왔습니다. 그래서 그동안은 그이 도시가 이 어떤 재생을 한다거나 이런 그 필요가 없었고요. 계속 성장만 하면 됐었는데 2000년이 들어오면서 이제 이 팽창할 수 있는 그 여유분이 이제 없어졌죠. 기존에 있었던 그 도시들을 어떻게 하면은 더그 고도화 시킬 수 있는지. 에, 우리가 좀 잊고 있었던 것은 무엇이 있는지 뭐 이런 것들을 고민을 할 수밖에 없는 그런 이런 상황이 돼 있었고 
Seoul selected 13 areas for its regeneration plan, which will be implemented this year. Economy-based regeneration projects will launch around new economic metropolitan centers and neighborhood generation projects will preserve existing cultures and turn the neighborhoods into central areas. Other rundown urban areas will be regenerated with customized plans appropriate for the region. 이렇게 도시 재생이 이루어지면 어, 그 도시가 갖고 있는 그 도시만이 갖고 있는 독특한 역사와 문화 아, 그리고 그 공동체를 복원할 수 있고 그리고 현재의 이 상황에 맞는 다양한 일자리라든가 이렇게 주민들이 행복한 주민들이 원하는 방향의 그런 도시를 만들 수 있는 것입니다. Seoul chose Garibangdong as one of their regeneration areas. This is where the Kuro Industrial Complex led Korea's industries from the 60s to the 80s. Conflicts among the residents have been intensifying due to the dilapidated houses and underdeveloped facilities. 구에서는 그 주민 의견을 수렴해서 그 주민 의견 결과에 따라서 정비하고 하나 고쳐나가는 그런 과정을 거치는 것입니다. 그러다 보면은 이 지역에 그 젊은층도 많이 유입이 되고 어떤 변화가 일어날 것이라고 생각합니다. In February 2015, Kuro-gu office installed the on-site communication room to encourage residents to participate in the project and exchange opinions. 열정 넘치는 젊은 친구들이 많이 돌아다니고 많은 인구가 유입이 되다 보니 자 굉장히 활기찼죠 지역 경제 자체도 그런 부분을 갖다가 꿈꾸고 있다고 봐야 되겠죠. London's Coin Street next to the River Thames. This area used to be occupied by factories and houses that were more than 30 years old. But through urban regeneration, unique designer shops as well as cafes and galleries began to take over and turn it into a tourist attraction. Regarding Seoul, uh, there has been a more recent concern in uh, urban regeneration, but therefore maybe not uh, that many substantive experiences. Well, I think that uh, to start with, uh, it's quite important to see that uh, if we talk about Europe in particular, uh, urban regeneration has a quite long history. So it's not uh, a short-term project, but it's a long-term process. And uh, if we look at successful cases, they usually have 20 to 30 years history behind them. So that explains, of course, much of uh, uh, what it is today. Urban regeneration repairs infrastructures and creates a new city through renewal. So will begin its regeneration project this year. Anticipation is rising over how this project will change Seoul. In July 2011, Pyeongchang was announced the host city of the 2018 Winter Olympics. Four and a half years have passed since then, and Pyeongchang is busy preparing for the approaching game. Pyeongchang, the Alps of Korea, and soon to be home of the 2018 Winter Olympics. Many people are enjoying winter sports here. Please come and join us. It's very good. Very nice. And you show. <laughs> Pyeongchang sits 700 meters above sea level. Its average winter temperature is minus 4.7 Celsius, and snowfall is 161 centimeters. Pyeongchang is preparing for the most special Winter Olympics. 선수 중심의 또 경기 중심의 역대 최고의 대회가 될수 있도록 저희가 준비를 하고 있고요. 또 저비용 고효율의 안전한 올림픽이 될수 있도록 하는 데 역점을 두고 추진을 하고 있습니다. The Pyeongchang Organizing Committee Office. It leads the construction of the Olympic Stadium and 12 sports venues.
Pyeongchang isn't the only host city. The committee is building facilities in Ganyang and Jeonseong as well. 경기 구역은 평 크게 평, 강릉 클러스터와 평창 클러스터로 구획되겠습니다. 강릉 클러스터의 경우 어, 선수촌으로부터 모두 10분 내에 다섯 개 경기장이 위치하게 됩니다. 평창 클러스터의 경우도 어, 민간이 짓고 있는 선수촌으로부터 모두 30분 이내에 평창 정선에 있는 일곱 개 경기장에 모두 다다를 수 있습니다. The Olympic Stadium gets the most attention because it will stage the opening and closing ceremonies. Olympic Plaza는 평창의 자연 환경을 최대한 반영해서 컨셉을 잡아서 지금 건축 설계에 임하고 있습니다. 관람객 4만 명이 동시에 진입할 수 있는 진출로를 확보해서 설계를 잡고 있고 지역 경제 활성화라든가 올림픽 유사로도 남길 수 있는 방안을 검토해서 설계를 하고 있습니다. The pre-existing stadium will be used as a ski jump center after some reinforcement work. It is currently the landmark of Pyeongchang. Alpensia Jump Nordic Center는 더 화려하고 멋있다라고 할수 있는 게 탑이 굉장히 높거든요. 보는 입장에 있어서는 굉장히 웅장한 멋을 어, 느낄 수 있는 곳이라고 할수 있습니다. It's currently undergoing renovation to prepare for the international game. The jumping tower is built 850 meters above sea level, and its observatory is built another 69 meters above. 경기가 물 흐르듯이 아주 깔끔하게 진행될 수 있도록 노력을 하고 준비하는 것이 굉장히 큰 목표고 또 그것을 위해서 경기 시설도 딜레이 요소를 줄이기 위해서 방풍 네트 등의 설치들을 내년까지 완공을 할 계획입니다. Construction for six of the venues began in 2014. It's about 48% done. And all venues will be completed by September 2017. Due to the mountainous terrain, the challenge is to secure enough accommodations for an estimated 140,000 visitors. Luckily, luxury hotels are ready to accommodate their guests. The hotel is the hotel in the hotel. The hotels are in the hotel. The hotels are in International brand standard. The hotels are educating their employees to prepare for the Olympics. It will take just two years from now, and the cities are gradually building more accommodations. Um, we've got great hotels, lots of places to, to eat and drink, and the ski facilities are perfect. Uh, for families. It's a really great resort. They are also repairing and building traffic facilities such as highways, railways, and airports. One, two, three. During the Olympics, high-speed trains will run from the Incheon International Airport to Pyeongchang in one hour and 52 minutes. 50,000 participants from some 100 countries vying for 102 gold medals. The Pyeongchang Winter Olympics will be by far the largest in history. The world is all together and united in a united way of the Olympics. 그 평가를 받을 수 있기를 기대합니다. The Pyeongchang Winter Olympics will take place two years from now. We can already hear the loud cheers and shouts on this snowy field. Let's go, Pyeongchang! Government data refers to the information created by all government organizations with the onset of the government 3.0 era. The government is opening this data to the public.
Gyeongbukgung Palace has stood at the heart of Seoul for hundreds of years. And inside the palace is the National Palace Museum of Korea and its rare artifacts. I find it very fascinating because I know nothing about Korean culture. The museum posted the data of the artifacts online in December 2015 to follow the government's policy. 공공정보의 개방과 공유라는 정부 3.0의 핵심 가치에 걸맞게 조선왕실 문화유산을 국민과 함께 공유하고자 중요한 유물 2천 건을 선별을 해서 그 고화질 사진 데이터를 국민에게 온라인으로 개방을 하게 되었습니다. In the past, people had to fill out application forms and pay to look at each artifact. Now, anyone can download the images of these artifacts at home and use them for free. 관련한 어, 그 일반 교육 자료의 발간 또는 문화 상품의 개발에 이르기까지 마음껏 자유롭게 활용하실 수 있을 것이라고 기대합니다. These high-resolution images can be zoomed in many times over. Social media, I, I believe internet and stuff, right? You get to be more interactive with the paintings. And what I did just now was I got to zoom in, so I get to see all the details rather than standing from a distance and seeing right. them. Um, I think that will mean people will, be, um, will want to look at it. It's more interesting for them um, to have a look at that. Yeah, I think it's definitely a good idea. The Government 3.0 Promotion Committee was founded in 2014. Government 3.0 refers to the development of Korea's digital government. Prior to the Government 3.0, there was the establishment of Government 1.0, followed by the development of Government 2.0. And it's reaping great success with disclosure of government data. After government data became public, people accessed about 5,000 pieces of data over 14,000 times in 2015. And the number of newly created websites and apps jumped from 42 to 570. 저희가 이제 정부 3.0을 추진해 오면서 공공 데이터 개방을 적극적으로 추진해 오고 있는데 이게 국제적으로도 굉장히 인정을 받고 있습니다. OECD's Government at a Glance 2015. Korea was ranked first on its Open Government Data Index. The Open Government Data Policy is now a big part of the Korean citizens' everyday lives. 5,000원, 뭐 비싸요, 6,000원. 근데 이제 공용 주차장을 보시면은 1,800원이에요. 1,800원짜리를 내비로 찍고 한번 찾아가 보도록 하겠습니다. It's now possible to find cheap public parking lots with smartphones. Thanks to this app that makes use of government data on parking facilities. 위치하고 요금 정보를 동시에 확인을 할수 있기 때문에. 얼마나 가까운데 얼마나 싸는 게 주차할 수 있는지를 빠르게 알 수가 있죠. Here is a company that is developing a parking lot locator app that also improves the quality of data. 일단 공공기관의 투명성이 높아진다고 저는 생각합니다. 저희들이 받아보고 오류가 발견되고 그 오류가 발견된 사실에 대해서 다시 그 관련 기관에다가 저희들이 알려드림으로써 그 데이터가 더 좋아지고 품질이 좋아지는 그런 것이 있고요. The government data in the apps based on them are making it more convenient for people to perform daily tasks. I'm impressed by how the city of Seoul has apps available where if you see a pothole in the street, you can take a photograph of that and easily submit it to the city government. And the government 3.0 is the current generation of the web which is becoming more interactive. And so I think there's a good level of uh, citizen usage. 
government is also encouraging people to use the data by hosting various contests. Lee Sung Hee won the grand prize in 2014 and successfully started a company, but he still has a long way to go. 저희 서비스 같은 경우에는 확장시켜 나가는 부분에 좀 약한 부분은 있어요. 그래서 좀더 많은 정보와 좀 이렇게 높은 질의 어떤 이미지 컨텐츠들이 많이 들어오면은 저희 서비스에 많이 도움이 될것 같습니다. His company sends mobile postcards. His idea will continue to develop with the increasing amount of tourism-related government data. The government 3.0 policies on open data has achieved great results in a short time. And it promises to reap more success in the future.